Hi everyone. Today we are going to try out this food dehydrator by London Sunshine. All right, let's start this review. I want to first say that I'm not being paid by this company. They have just sent me the product for free to try out and share my opinion on the product with you guys. They did also give me a discount code uh, for 10% off in case you're interested in, in purchasing the product for yourself. I'll put it on the screen here. So you just go to the link I'm going to put in the description box, type in this code, and you'll get 10% off. All right, so this is a eight tray food dehydrator made by London Sunshine. Let me show you the inside. Here are the eight trays. They also send you four of these smaller mesh um, pieces that you can put on top of the tray um, if you need smaller holes, if you have a smaller product being put on the trays. They also send you four of these silicone, I guess you call them mats, that you can put on the trays if you're making like fruit roll-ups or something like that. They also send you a pair of silicone, silicone sorry, uh, little fingertip gloves so you can grab um, the trays when the food is done. So today I am going to make some turkey and sweet potato meat sticks for my dogs. If you're a new subscriber and just coming across our channel due to this review, I have seven mini schnauzers that I try to, that, not try, I do feed a low fat diet because schnauzers are prone to pancreatitis, um, and diabetes as well. So I try to feed them a low fat diet. So um, I also wanna mention, I had a food dehydrator before. It was just one of those round ones that you just turned on. It didn't have um, uh, temperature selection or time selection. This one does, as you can see here, you can select your time and your temp. So that will be nice. Cause the other one, it was just an on off switch. You couldn't select uh, temperature time for what you were dehydrating. So let me get my meat, my sweet potatoes and get that mixed up so we can get it in the food dehydrator. Okay, so to make our turkey and sweet potato meat sticks, we are using four packages of this Jenny O, um, very lean, sorry, there's a glare from my window, very lean ground turkey breast. There's just 1% fat, so I have four of these, so four pounds. And then I have two of these um, by Gerber for babies, the sweet potato. Um, let me show you the little, this right here. Um, sweet potatoes do not have fat, but they do have sugar. Um, so you gotta be careful how much you use because too much sugar um, and a dog's diet can cause digestive upset. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both or not. Not only that, because I don't wanna add too much moisture um, since I wanna dehydrate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my turkey meat in this bowl here, put on some gloves, at least throw one of these in and see if I wanna use another one. I will let you know. And then after I have that all mixed up, I'm gonna put it inside of this jerky gun. I purchased this after I was sent the dehydrator. I was watching some uh, videos on YouTube and thought, you know what, I wanna try that out. So I purchased this myself on Amazon. So I gotta get this put together. <laughs> I've never used one before. And um, we're gonna try to put some strips of this turkey mixture on the trays for the dehydrator. So let me get this all mixed up and we'll be right back. I got the meat mixture all mixed up. Here's what it looks like. And I wanted to let you guys know that I did end up using only one container of sweet potatoes. Um, I mixed it all up. I don't know if you can tell and see the orange in there. Um, mixed it all up with just that one container and I can smell the aroma of the sweet potatoes. Um, so one container worked out just fine for four pounds of lean ground turkey. So I, I'm gonna get this jerky gun, which I just had to watch a YouTube video on how to use it because I wasn't totally for sure and didn't wanna mess up. So I watched a video, 
So I'm gonna load this into my jerky gun and I need to decide which tip I wanna use. If I wanna use a round tip or the flat tip. Hmm, not sure. So let me get this loaded up and we'll come back and we'll see what I decide. Okay, I did a practice run with this jerky gun on a paper plate <laughs> before I started putting it on the trays. And as you can see, it's trying to come out of the gun. So I sprayed my tray with some Pam. Don't know if I needed to or not. It didn't say in the um, manual that came with it. I decided to use this round, almost like sausage maker shape. This works pretty good. If you guys want me to do a review on this jerky gun and show you how to use it, I'd gladly do that for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to fill up my trays. I keep making these turkey and the sweet potato meat sticks here for the boys. And after I get all the trays filled up, I will, uh, now these are probably gonna take a while to de dehydrate since they're um, thicker than the flat jerky. Um, so anyways, I will come back after I get these trays all filled with meat sticks. And um, we'll get them in the food dehydrator. Okay, we have all our turkey and sweet potato meat sticks on the trays. I didn't realize I was do I was doing these ones this way, and then the rest I was kind of doing this way. But I got about five and a half trays, just under five and a half trays, with that four pounds of extra lean turkey meat. So in the instruction manual, it says to um, set the temp. Oh, oh whoop, turn on uh, for one fifty eight. And what I'm reading online for jerky, it should take four to five hours. Um, but these being round and not thin, I think are going to take longer. So I'm going to set it for six hours. Oops, got to hit time first. Um, set that for six hours. And I'm going to check it. I don't want to, I'll probably check it before then. Um, I will say the one thing I don't like about the temperature setting is it just goes to preset settings that they have in their instruction manual. You can't set it for, like if I wanted it for 160 degrees, I can't set it for 160. I have to do their preset temperatures. Um, but that's not a really a big deal, but that's one thing I wish they would change. Um, so I'll probably check it at five. I'm gonna set it for six. I'll probably check it at five, see where we're at, because I don't want them totally dried out. I want a little bit of chew to them. Um, if you totally dry them out, I hear you can have them, uh, they're shelf stable for weeks. Um, but if I leave them with a little bit of moisture in them, I'll just store them in my, in my refrigerator. Cause I mean, I have seven dogs. These will be gone in a week probably. <laughs> so, um, so um, when I come back, I'll let you know how long it took and share with you how the uh, turkey and sweet potato meat sticks turned out. And then we'll do a taste test with the boys because they've been circling around my feet as I was putting these meat sticks on the trays. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been six hours. The timer just went off uh, a couple seconds ago. As you can see, there's steam on the window because it's been sitting here for a second. Probably should open it. I'm letting them cool off. So they are done to the consistency I wanted. I didn't want them totally dried out, how some other people uh, dehydrate meats in their dehydrator. I don't want them real crunchy. I want them kind of still kind of chewy and be able to break because I want to cut some of these into little bite-sized pieces as well as have them a little bit longer for my dogs. So, and the boys are patiently waiting. <laughs> Can you smell it? Can you smell it, huh? So I did end up... I let it go for six hours, but I did end up um, turning the heat up to 167 degrees instead of the 158 degrees that I started with. Because uh, after I started it, I started Googling and reading about jerky. And I figured since my jerky um, 
was it wasn't as flat. I didn't use the flat nozzle. I used the rounded one, the tubular one. Um, I figured I better have it at a higher temp. I don't know if I needed to or not, but that's what I did. But the, I can't believe it's done already. <laughs> I can't. The last dehydrator I had was one of those round ones where it's just an on-off button with a fan in it. Uh, you couldn't set the temp like you can with this one. So it would. It took a lot longer to uh, de dehydrate treats that I would make for the boys. So I'm very impressed. Yes, I am. So um, let me get these cooled off a little bit more so I can get the trays out. And... Um, I'll share with you how they look and if the boys like them. But I'm, I really like this dehydrator. I'm very impressed with it. Okay, here are all my meat sticks off of the trays. Um, they're still a little warm. They're not totally cooled off, but they're not hot to where you can't touch them or the boys can't eat them. So um, I broke some up into pieces, but I'm gonna break this one here so I can show you that it's still can break in half it's not crunchy but it's done so I will keep these in the refrigerator or you can freeze them too um, like I said unless you totally dehydrate them out where there's no moisture at all and they're really crunchy then you could just leave them in a container if you wanted to for like I think they said five to six weeks um, but like I said these still have a little bit of moisture so they're a little bit easier to eat for my dogs who don't have many teeth left <laughs> wanted to make it easier for them so I got seven pieces here I'm gonna see if the kitty cuz can you guys see the kitty over there that's Merlin I'm gonna see what he thinks I'm gonna break a little piece off and see what he thinks come here kitty you can come up here come here see he likes them it's just turkey and sweet potatoes mm, kitty likes them too there you go good kitty treats too <laughs> all right let me take care of all these let me put them uh in a ziploc bag actually i need to put them i need to hide them from the kitty so they can cool off the rest of the way before i put them in a ziploc bag and then stick them in my refrigerator but like i said i have seven dogs and one of my kitties can't eat these because he is on a special diet for kidney uh stage two kidney disease so he won't be able to eat them but um these won't last that long <laughs> so um we'll be right back and we'll see how the boys like them Okay, I got the pieces of the meat sticks here for the boys to try. I have everyone here, but Grant, it looks like. He might be sleeping in his crate. Um, all right, let's uh, let him try them out. Boy, you took that real nice, Magnum. All right, they're kind of all out of... Oh, no, there's... You already done, Marley? You're already done, Marley? <laughs> I think that means they were really good. <laughs> All right, I want to say thank you to London Sunshine for sending me the dehydrator to try out. It's going to come into some, it's going to be getting a workout. We're going to be making lots of treats for the boys uh, with the dehydrator. So I really appreciate it. And don't forget, guys, here's co the code for 10% off. If you click on the link in the description box, put this code in if you decide you want to purchase it for yourself and you'll get 10% off. All right, guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.